Hola a todos, ¿qué tal? Soy Erika. Bienvenidos a mi canal. Hi everyone, I'm Erika. Welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be talking about los verbos irregulares en el imperfecto. So we'll be talking about the irregular verbs in the imperfect. Today will be a really short class because there's actually only three irregular verbs in the imperfect. Um, so as usual, we will start with un repaso del imperfecto. If you haven't already seen my video on like regular imperfect, I will leave it in the description down below. So please go check that out. But we'll go through un repaso muy breve. Uh, después, los verbos irregulares. So we'll go over the, those three um, irregular verbs. Y como siempre, un poco de práctica. Y bueno, si te gustan mis videos, por favor suscríbete. If you like my videos, please subscribe. And let's get started. Entonces, empezamos con un repaso. Bueno, el imperfecto, so ¿qué es? Uh, es usado para describir eventos continuos del pasado. So the imperfect is used to describe continuous or habitual events in the past. So for example, if you always used to do something, you would use the imperfect. Um, if you used to be something like you used to be 10 years old, that's like a long-term event. So you use the imperfect. If it's like a long-term or continuous event in the past, you use the imperfect, okay? So these are the endings for our AR, ER, and IR verbs in the imperfect. So all you do, cross out the last two letters and plug in one of these endings. So we have, um, for AR, tenemos ABA, ABAS, ABA, ABAMOS, ABAIS, y ABAN. Para ER e IR, tenemos IA, IAS, IA, IAMOS, IAIS, E, um, IAN. Okay, so these are our endings. All right, again, check out the video down below if you haven't already seen that. Pero ahora vamos a los verbos irregulares. Entonces, como he dicho, hay solamente tres verbos irregulares uh, en el imperfecto. Okay? Primero tenemos ir, que significa to go, ser, to be, pero permanente, so like um, to be but permanent, so if you're talking about like your gender, your nationality, or your job, that's kind of like where you do ser. Um, ver, we have to see. Vale, so let's get started con ir. Vamos. So, ir, tememos. Yo iba, tú ibas, él, ella, usted iba. Nosotros íbamos, vosotros ibais, y ellos, ellas, ustedes iban. ¿Vale? Ok, tenemos aquí algunas frases. So, yo siempre iba a la casa de mi abuela. So, I always used to go to my grandma's house. Um, Carlos iba a la piscina cada miércoles. So, Carlos would go to the pool every Wednesday. So in this one, again, it's imperfect because we have like every Wednesday. So it was an habitual like action. So that's why it's the imperfect, by the way. But as you can see, we have the words iba, iba. So those are el imperfecto del verbo ir. Okay, aquí. All right. Ahora vamos a ser. So ser significa to be. Um, we have yo era, tú eras, el ella, usted, era, nosotros, éramos, vosotros, erais, y ellos, ellas, o ustedes, eran, okay? So, yeah, these ones are kind of different because it's like we have this era, right? It's like we completely got rid of that S. Um, yeah, again, you'll just have to memorize these, but it's only three verbs. So, and you can see it kind of follows the, the same pattern as usual. Um, so, it's not too tricky. So, we have algunos frases. Carlos y Juan eran simpáticos cuando tenían joven. So Carlos and Juan were nice when they were young. Um, Valeria siempre era muy alta. Valeria was always really tall. Okay, so we have those imperfect sentences right here. And you can see we have the verb to be conjugated. Vale, ahora a ver. Entonces ver tenemos yo veía, tú veías, él, ella, usted veía, nosotros veíamos. Vosotros veíais y ellos, ellos, ustedes veían, okay? So again, it's kind of following the same pattern as other ones, but it's a little tricky because we have like the E still in there, right? Like we keep the E and we conjugate it as such, okay? So Ana veía, veía el mar cada mañana, so Ana saw the sea every morning, okay? So... Este son los tres verbos. Ahora a la práctica. Okay. So, la práctica. 
Complete las frases siguientes. So what you need to do is plug in the verb, um, conjugate it to the imperfect, um, y bueno. So tenemos Jorge mm, a San Juan cada verano. So conjugate ir to the imperfect for Jorge. Hernán, mm, un mesero, antes que estudió la ingeniería. So Hernán was a waiter before he studied engineering. Vosotros no. Mm, mis videos antes, pero ahora sí, before you didn't watch my videos, but now you do. Um, Francisco y Carolina, mm, a escuela juntos cada, uh, cuando tenían joven. So Francisco and Car Carolina went to school together when they were young. Ok, entonces pausa el video y eh, después vamos a las respuestas. Ok, ahora vamos a las respuestas. Entonces primero... Jorge iba a San Juan cada verano. Eh, Hernán era un mesero antes que estudió la ingeniería. Vosotros no veíais mis videos antes, pero ahora sí. Y Francisco y Carolina iban a escuela. Oh, I spelled escuela wrong. Um, juntos, pero cuando tenían joven. Ok. Ok. Pretend there's a little C there. Um, pero bueno. Ok. Este fue el video. Espero que lo han disfrutado. I hope you liked it. Y si quieres aprender más conmigo, por favor suscríbete. If you want to learn more with me, please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Adios.